Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. As we team up with the star for a Hollywood style shoot, Stephanie looks every inch of the screen siren and she tells us she had a blast. You can't go through so many years on American soap operas without knowing about clothes, she says. This shoot is just oozing glamour and fun. I might be 75 soon, but that's just a number. I'm still a kid. Stephanie has been in the business for nearly 60 years and we could spend hours listening to her reminisce about Tinseltown. From going on a date with Marlon Brando to being taught about lighting by Arva Gardner and saved by social embarrassment by Sir Anthony Hopkins, Stephanie is the epitope of old school Hollywood fame. Still, the star, who now lives in London, admits that she's never enjoyed A-list parties and is much more at home around children. She prefers to spend time with her two daughters from her previous marriage, Phoebe, 47, and Chloe, 44, fiancé Bernie Greenwood, 81, and 21-year-old grandson, Jude. Here, Stephanie talks her through an amazing career and why she will never catch her wearing sweatpants. Hi, Stephanie. You've been in the business for nearly six decades and worked with so many people. Do you have any highlights? Oh, so many. I remember the first day on Destiny. I just thought to myself, good God, that's Barbara Shamwack, and this is Hollywood. It was the same with Charles Heston, who became one of my dearest friends. I had a date with Marlo Brando before we started filming 1971 movie The Nightcomers, because I insisted, if he wasn't to fire me or anything before we got on set, I wanted to make sure I had a date with him beforehand. We were talking absolutely deeply and I forgot his name and I said, what's your name? And he looked at me and laughed. We were so deep in conversation, there was just an amazing presence, but I literally forgot it was Marlon Brando. What was it like to work with him? He became a very special, tender friend. What a difficult life he had. He was completely and utterly wonderful to work with. I thought it was like being overtaken on the motorway. I'm a Mini and he is a Rolls Royce. I'd sometime work with people and I'd think, oh no, maybe not. I obviously can't name them, but he was definitely a special person. I adored him. We maintained a friendship until the very end. You must have been to some amazing showbiz parties. Oh no, that's an oxymoron. My hearing is not good enough to be enjoy a party. Stephanie was born with no hearing in one ear and 80% hearing in the other. And now, masked, I can't lip read through a mask, so it's not my idea of a good time. Oh, well, there must have been some amazing moments, though. <gasps> well, one of the most extraordinary things for me was when I was at a party with the Coen brothers, filmmakers Joel and Ethan, and Holly Hunter got up and said something. Simonagree Weaver got up and said something, and then they announced who had won the raffle, and it was me. I thought, oh, how lovely. I went to walk up, and I felt overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly embarrassed, as I hadn't got up to say something nice about the Coens. I was just collecting a raffle prize. I was overcome with embarrassment. I grabbed my prize, said thank you and ran off the stage. As I was just going to descend these terribly difficult stairs in my, my friend Anthony Hopkins got up and leapt to the stairs saying, Stephanie, how wonderful to see you. I whispered, oh, Tony, I'm so embarrassed. And he said, yes, I know. And that's why I've come to get you. And he led me back to my table. How sweet. One of your most iconic roles was in Destiny. How did, did you, well, did you keep any memorabilia? Um, well, not really. I couldn't wait to give the clothes back. They were much too elegant for walking barefoot on the beach. I shall be going to Joan Collins' 20th anniversary soon. Can you believe that? I wouldn't say we're close as so she's, she's uh, speeding around. I'm speeding around too. We do different things. We haven't had dinner together for a couple of years, but then no one has really with COVID. Which lessons did you learn from your early days that you still use now? Well, I learned about lighting from Arva Gardner. She taught me the basics. In general, I've learned from my own sex more than men. I've acted with my male co-stars, but as far as learning and observation goes, it's been from women. Have you found that the older they, they are, they're just as many parts? Yes, I am realising that if I allow a proper, genuine ageing, there are plenty of roles. Would you describe your life as glamorous? It's never been glamorous. It's just been whether I was acting in uncomfortable shoes that made me look tall and beautiful, or whether I was barefoot on the beach. My life has been extraordinary, varied, amazing and so full. Other people might call it glamorous. I just call it life. Is the Stephanie at home very different to the high glamour we see in public? I'm wearing a pretty stunning jumper at the moment. I'm dressed in a customary black, but I've got those fabulous chunky boots on. Aren't they good? I don't think people want their feet to be uncomfortable anymore, but I've never worn sweatpants. I think they're disgusting. OK, let's talk about your personal life. You and Bernie got engaged in 2014. Do you have any plans for a wedding? 
Oh no, I can't be bothered to put on a pair of high heels to get married. Bernie often says, we haven't got married. Why did you say that we could get engaged? And I said, because I love you to bits. I don't know about getting married. It was romantic to be asked. But we still might. These two very old people with walking sticks might suddenly decide to walk down the aisle. We've been together 14 years. That's a lovely long marriage, isn't it? Thanks for listening. For more celebrity news, please like, comment and subscribe.